Oh, yeah, on, on. Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh, got a good fish on here. G'day, everyone. And welcome to the tutorial. Ooh. I'll start that again. G'day, everyone, and welcome to the tutorial. Lure fishing for trout in streams and rivers. What a fish. Just hooked up, casting at the back of this rapid here. It's going to keep the line tight, and it's a cracking brown. Oh, it is a cracking brown. Look at that. Oh, here he is. Oh, what a fish. What a fish. And in this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to catch these fish. Fish in these small streams, and then we'll show you how to fish bigger rivers. This is an absolute beautiful brown. We'll get him up. I can't wait to show you this tutorial. There's some exciting stuff. I've been working all morning. I've got a little Rapala on, and he's absolutely nailed it. You drop a lot of fish when fishing for trout, but this bloke is absolutely taking it in. And he hit me right on the end of the cast. Just going to get him up like that. And show you there. What a fish. How about that for a beautiful fish? He's got to be on 40 centimetres. He's nailed that little Rapala. Great, great stuff. What a beautiful fish. Now we'll get him back in the water. He's absolutely smashed that little lure there. We'll get him back in the water. Whoop, just like that. So he's all having a bit of a swim there. And I'll just get the hook out of his mouth. He's hooked really, really well, which is good because sometimes trout really struggle to hook up. He's taking the lure right down. Little Rapala and he can return home. What a beautiful fish. Just cradle him in the water. Doesn't matter what type of fish you're doing, it is great fun. So throughout this tutorial, I'll teach you how to catch these fish, what outfits to use, what gear to use, how to tie the knots, what knots to use, what lures to use, where to cast in the creeks and the streams, where to find these fish, and off he goes. How good is that? Now when it comes to trout fishing, there are so many different types of waterways you can fish. There's streams and rivers that run across all different landscapes throughout this beautiful country of ours. Many of them fall through mountain terrain with crystal clear waters, stone rapids and fast water. You will discover some absolute beautiful landscapes and countrysides through this style of fishing. Now we will be bringing this series to you from a heap of rivers and small creeks in the foothills of the Snowy Mountains in New South Wales. All trout waterways will fish slightly different, and by this I mean you may need a different approach when targeting trout in the specific location you are fishing. In saying this, we will run through a whole broad set of basics that you can use in most waterways. You'll just have to change and tweak the style of fishing you're doing for that situation. In other words, depends on the lure type. You might need a shallower running lure or a heavier running lure or a different style of lure for the situation you're fishing. It all depends on the river. For example, some of the tiny creeks in the Alpine regions are extremely shallow and have no surrounding trees. In these locations, the fish will sit tight up against the undercut banks. In the large and wide rivers, the fish will sit in the bottom of the stone rapids waiting for food to flow past. They won't need shade or any cover because that cover of the rapids in the middle of the water where it's nice and deep, that's where the food is and that's where the fish will be hiding. It all depends on the waterway and these are the things we're going to teach you across this series. As you can see, beautiful creek behind me here. These small little streams hold a lot of great fish. They may be small, but it is great fun. As you can see, absolutely beautiful landscape we have on this beautiful cold morning. Now throughout this trout series, we're going to be bringing to you a couple of different tutorials to teach you how to catch these fish, and they'll be broken up into different parts. So part two in this tutorial, which is the next one after this, if you check it out on the website, it will be teaching you about what gear to use. So this outfit here, it's a beautiful little Fluger Supreme outfit on a Fluger Treon. We're going to run through what weights, what sizes, every thing you need in terms of gear to catch these fish on our rivers and streams. We'll talk about the length of your rod, type of rod, your line, your leader, and all the other little bits and pieces you need out on the water. That's part two in the series. Now part three is all about your lures. As you can see here, I've got a beautiful little Rapala on, and we'll be talking about these lures and others that will successfully catch fish for you in these rivers and streams. All your Tassie Devils, your Silver Wobblers, your Celters, and your little hard bodies like this Rapala, we will show you all of that. We'll talk about colors, weights, depths, everything you need to hook up to those fish. Now, the most exciting tutorial of the lot is number four, and that's where we teach you how to cast the water. As you can see, we're on a beautiful little creek here, and in against that bank would be an excellent spot to hide a trout. It's nice and deep. They'll tuck up in against that bank, and that's where they'll be hiding in wait for a lure. 
In that tutorial, we're gonna walk these rivers and these streams and show you exactly where the fish will be hiding. Like I showed you in this tutorial earlier, I caught that beautiful big brown trout from that little bit of flowing water. That's where they'll be hiding. In the current lines, we're gonna show you exactly where they are. And while we're at it, we're gonna show you a bit of action and show you the proof and catch a few on camera. It's gonna be a really exciting series. I hope you enjoy. There's gonna be some beautiful backdrops, excellent landscapes, and hopefully a couple of cracking fish. So I really hope you enjoy this tutorial.